What's up, y'all? Victor Chambers here. So I'm just coming from a direct signing. It was another direct signing. It was a deed signing. Um, it literally took two minutes, one signature, one notarization, and it was in and out. It actually happened in a um, kind of like a luxury apartment building. Um, and it just kind of reminded me of something uh, because I was talking to the people that work in the lobby and you know obviously they realized I was a notary and they said their residents always um, asked them about um, you know notar getting doc documents notarized and so I was like wow that's a great um, way to drum up your general notary work business by reaching out to um, luxury or just huge apartment buildings or condo buildings, you know, some of which have hundreds of residents um, and being able to either put your cards in the lobby or keep them, leave them with leasing consultants or people that work at the front desk. Um, and it could be a pretty steady flow of business, especially for people that need things not notarized, obviously. Um, all kinds of documents need to be notarized. School documents, um, you know, other real estate documents, wills, power of attorneys, all kinds of things. So just a good uh, quick tip to um, for you guys to leverage to generate more general notary work. Hey, what's up, y'all? So just finishing up my uh, second and last signing of the day. Uh, this signing was at five o'clock. It's about 6.15. Um, this one took a little longer than uh, it should have because I got to the signing, uh, was about to start going through docs and uh, the borrower had an issue with the funds that were due. Um, they assumed that the lender had issued the new docs um, and that those were the ones I had and that was not the case. So we got the lender on the phone. They actually issued new docs right then and there, sent them to the signer, the signer printed, and uh, I had to stack them in with the, uh, with the old docs. So now I'm actually going to drop the package um, and call it a day. You know, this whole situation made me really think if I need a mobile printer, but I don't know, I, I just don't feel like um, maintaining another another printer. I have two printers at home, and actually I have three printers at home. Um, two that I use for my notary loan signing agent business, and then I'm, another just inkjet printer um, that I use for just everyday stuff. I don't wanna put a printer in my car. Um, I just don't wanna deal with lugging it in and out, and just all the maintenance and having to Get, you know set up the battery power to get it all configured and you know making sure it's secure and making sure it doesn't get hot because it's about to be summer I don't want to do all of that um, I'm not at a point where um, I need to and so I don't I don't want to go through all of that um, I'm sure people that are doing it um, and have the whole mobile office set up I'm sure it works for them I just don't need it right now um, so I I'm gonna try not for as long as I can to not not do it um, but we'll see uh, but I mean obviously it would have came in super handy uh, now I guess the lender assumed that I had a mobile printer because they were gonna send it to me I said no send it to the borrower he can print it because I'm not gonna if you send it to me I'm not gonna it doesn't make sense for me to email it to him email it straight to the borrower and he said he can print it so he printed it and that's that um, so yeah, so that one took a little longer than than it should have. Um, but I'm done now. I'm about to go drop this package off as well as uh, the package from my uh, the deed signing, the direct deed signing I did earlier. That was from a title company in Rhode Island. They called me last night to do that deed signing. I know I didn't provide a lot of detail about that earlier, um, but they um, called me to do a deed signing. It was literally around the corner from my house, like literally walking distance. Um, but I ended up driving there 
Uh, and that was like five pages. Like I said, literally took like three minutes um, and knocked that out and uh, had to scan that back. But for that one, I actually just used my phone because it was just five pages, literally. Um, and I emailed it back to them. So that was a direct signing earlier, um, which was just a deed. Um, the signing I told you guys about, I think in the video I posted today, was a full refi signing uh, that came from a direct client uh, that I got from my marketing efforts last week. Um, so I dropped that package off this morning and um, she says she has a couple more for me to do this week. So um, I don't have them yet, but she says she has a couple more for me. Um, and she wrote me a check right on the spot from the signing I did for her yesterday. So um, I think this is gonna be a good relationship. I'm not abandoning signing services. Um, I'm not at a place where I can or want to do that just yet. Um, but you know, I'm I'm just pivoting a little bit and we'll see where, where it goes. There are certain signing services, like I've told you guys in past videos that I do enjoy working with, like Signature Closers. I think they're the best, honestly. Um, I like working with them. Um, I get a steady amount of, uh, of, of, uh, of work from them. Um, so signing services like that, you know, especially when the requests are near me, I'll definitely take them. Uh, but I, I'd, I'd like to have a have a nice have a nice mixture that helps me meet you know the income goals I, I have. Um, so uh, we'll see. Um, like I said, heading to drop off this this loan package, and I'm gonna call it a day. I have nothing scheduled for tomorrow right now, actually, um, which is weird. And that's that's another thing. Um, I was supposed to actually have a closing for, for one of my uh, listing, my condo listing was supposed to close uh, Thursday. Uh, but what I'm hearing is that a lot of the lenders um, are pushing closings from this week to next week because um, you know it's kind of the holiday with Memorial Day weekend coming up. Um, instead of trying to cram everything in this week um, with people going on vacations and you know, all the volume, they're just moving things to next week. So I imagine that the rest of the week will be slow. Today's Tuesday. I imagine the rest of the week will be slow and next week will be uh, pretty busy because lenders are um, scheduling out things that were technically probably supposed to close this week. So, um, so we'll see, um, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, but we're going to call this a video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.